Welcome to Daily Content. This is where we cover anything and everything people slash foot related for your daily content update. Diving into SBC's trading gameplay on occasion, so scrap in, drop a like, hit the subscribe, ding the bell, get your daily notification. Welcome. Welcome in, guys, to Daily Content. As you guys know, I am your host. Uh, we've got Winter Wonderland cards today for you guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and check that out. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and then don't forget to ding the bell if you guys want your daily updates. Guys, we're going to be talking about a lot of these player cards, but I'm also going to be talking about Inform Fodder and the entire SBC market. Um, there's going to be some differences between yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So make sure you guys tune in for tomorrow because uh, I'm getting content right here, right now. So the first thing I want to talk about, guys, is the market crash. There is a market crash occurring right now um has these guys have dropped now they could return they could come back up uh it could just be a pre initial pre scare that that's what we're seeing right now so don't be too scared but the thing about it is it did break a five percent uh band i believe from 1300 1.3 million down to 1.2 right around five percent so if it goes if it goes a little bit lower that means a breaking point now the majority of the market has depreciated in the high metas uh just because players like uh neymar are rivaling that card this one this card should come down now i highly i highly believe that this card will will drop quite a bit uh but it is a fantastic card now guys like messi as well i believe these guys have come down a lot of these guys have come down uh 345 yes he was up to 450 just about less than a week ago so we're starting to see that stuff guys there's some really good cards out here zaha Sfinazola, linkovic savic pug but this is so much better than the last last uh promo that was just released anyways okay moving on to uh fodder guys uh like i said like i said guys i i can't i can't do this better i can't i can't i cannot do this better 82s were literally 800 coins yesterday and i was telling you guys a couple days ago i was like when they're 800 coins pick them up because they double in price boom there you are 1500 coins you can sell them for 1500 not the 1200 that's just one of those that were up there 1500 coins that's that is the easiest trade style ever if you're bored if you're lazy you just pick up you just go and you're just lazy trader you just you just see Pulisic at 800 coins pick them up and then you see me at 1500 have them alert boom there you go double your coins so that's an easy way to do it john stones i was just telling you guys yesterday pick them up a thousand coins up to 1600 easy easy money uh not so much on not so much profit here with zlatan um i have it said 18 minutes ago one minute ago 2800 so those are not staying that high which is not a bad thing high rate of fodder here 85 rated fodder uh not going anywhere uh 86 rated fodder not moving much going up just a hair not moving much at all uh we've got in the same up uh, with the uh, higher end mo fodder but guys i see this all the time what happens is if <laughs> if heavy fodder if high rate of fodder goes up then guess what you can sell there and then flip into low rate of fire. Then low rate of fire goes up and they kind of go back and forth. And so right now it's a very high level sell point for the 82 rate of fodder. Um, that is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. That is great. That is great. So if you guys follow along, you guys know to to check that, to, to know that that's where we're looking at. Now, Kane here, let's check this out. 62K still hasn't moved much um even with this new zaha card that came out guys we're gonna be talking about the zaha card as well uh 41k so these guys haven't moved even though that there's still fodder in the market uh guys uh, i'll be talking about tealman's as well and then a uh, mobile way so 20k for tealman beautiful uh, i'd be picking these guys up i'd be picking up tealman's is the easiest trade right now that's guaranteed coins if you can get them for five percent ten percent underneath what he's going for right this second to sunday from now till sunday because right now is the promo release so and like tomorrow they may go up a little bit but then sunday they should drop as people continue to open packs tealman's 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 is a great trade maybe 18k if you guys can pick them up for 18k that's insane anything underneath 20k is even decent so they should uh that should be fantastic uh guys okay so now we're gonna be talking about this team and everything okay sbc's before we get into the team and then we talked about the reviews of the player reviews as well so wonderland wonderland uh challenge not a bad jumbo rare players pack for how many eight thousand coins guys jumbo premium players so that's what six or six 
golds, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, even if it's three, that's still not bad. Uh, Wilfried's 150k. I really like this card, guys. I really do like this card. I'll give you guys a player review on it here in a, shortly in a second. Uh, but the Polisic card is fantastic, and if you did the Polisic, I wouldn't necessarily say do the Zaha. Uh, but there are two different cards in unique body style of Zaha, as Polisic has lean body style. So he's going to feel more like Vinny compared to Zaha feeling have his own feel. Okay, so that covers everything. Now we're just going to go right into Zaha. Uh, 165k, just like I said, guys, uh, I would probably be slapping a dead eye on him, me personally. Um, and five star skills, four star weak, but beautiful, unique body style, high, low, high level, uh, high low work rates. Uh, guys, like, and like I said, guys, it's it's basically him or Polisic. If you didn't do Polisic, uh, you could do this one. If you did Polisic, then I, uh, it's just an extra card about the same links, about the same links, actually less lesser links than uh, the Polisic card. So I technically would say the Polisic card might be slightly better, but the Zaha card in terms of playability uh is i think just a hair it's like one point better so technically it's better now this guys this card is fantastic if you want to play him i would suggest playing him with a hunter more me personally and then just using as a center mid uh just know that his acceleration isn't fantastic but with his sprint speed he doesn't have a cap on his sprint speed anymore so that's a big big deal there guys that's a big big deal okay that is a big deal uh, that that card actually becomes playable even with the low acceleration okay that that becomes very very solid fabinho this card is is insane this card is absolutely insane i just wish i almost wish they just i wish they made this card more first all right this one's great this one's great center forward cam 99 dribbling um that's fantastic now we guys i'm going to you know i could talk about neymar and we, i could say that's trash but it's not, it, guys, it's no different than these two, right? It's really no different, right? Look, one point, five points of balance and finishing a little bit there. The only difference is his positioning, okay? That's the price, okay? That's why his price is up. Everything else is, is it about the same? I think everything else is about the same. Just positioning switched up and a few, few add-ons there. So that's not a huge difference. This card, now this card is insane, guys. This is your hold it. This is your new hold it, okay? Check this out. 90 pace of the shadow. Look at this, 91 CDM. This is Holit Gang. I actually did a comparison on a different platform with Holit. Um, Holit's faster. That's about it, okay? Holit's faster, better at shooting. That's literally it. Okay, that's it. That's it. That card besides that, that's Holit. That's seriously. That's it. 190k for a Holit card. Um, the only thing that Holit does have is he has the specialties, which do make a big difference in the game. But when it comes to price, dude, Malinkovic Savage. That's all day. Now, uh, 800,000. Yeah, guys, this card... This card is also a gift from EA. Dead eye on him. He goes up to a 93 cam. Guys, this card's almost in game. All he needs is a five star, five star to be in game. And he's left footed. Guys, they made him left footed. Now, is this ba is he actually left footed or is it? Yeah, they made him left footed, guys. They made him left footed. So, uh, watch out for that. That's gonna throw a lot of people off. Even the players buying him, that's gonna throw a lot of people off. So, watch out for that Komen being left footed there. Uh, the Junior Messiah's card, decent card, decent card, free, definitely. Uh, de definitely decent for free and decent links uh as a cam all day anywhere else no um i just he's not kim saw efficient on dribbling and and his work rates aren't great uh tara uh tara uh guys solid card solid solid card here uh very very solid uh five star skills four star weak foot medium medium work rates traitor decent right outside put shot trade flare decent 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 uh, and he's very well rounded. He's very well rounded. I love that he has defensive stats. So if you want to play him as a CDM, you honestly could. You really could. You could play this card as a CDM. And it's a five star skill, four star weak foot CDM. Uh, that's in the uh, league notes. So this card, you guys will see this card. This card's gonna drop because just links right now. But like when team of the season comes out and all that stuff, this card it, it may it may go back up to 47k from it'll it'll drop to like 25k probably. Um, but this guy's this card's not as good as you may think, but it's really really good. Um, and the reason why is the reactions and composure are low. Everything else is absolutely superb. Um, I wish this was just a hair higher here, and that then that becomes absolutely insane. Now strength, this is all fantastic. This is all decent. This is all decent, except for this and this, which makes a big deal right now. So, guys, the, the this card is rivaling high meta players, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. This card is rivaling high meta players. Um, and this card is very, very good. 
It just does not have composure or reactions to be high level. But for a casual, that is a monstrous card. Okay, monstrous card, monstrous card. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying it's very good. But when I make my player reviews, I'm, I'm, I'm strict when it comes to uh, casuals meta half meta meta super metas okay so right now he's like a half meta meta kind of he's really floating he's really floating there he's really floating there because guys composure and reactions make the big deal so he's like meta but he's like okay so this is this is where i think he's meta now but in like a month he'll be half meta because of that okay that's what i'm trying to say uh speed is all the card best left back in the game now best left back in the game high high work rates High and average body style, though, guys. That's That means that he's going to be slower than you may... He's going to be a little bit slower. Uh, but if you throw a Guardian on him, which is I, well, I recommend to get that dribbling speed up and uh, balance up, that makes him very, very solid. All right, so very, very good card. But it does make him a little bit weird. It does make... It's a fake 95 pace stats. Now, uh, Prim Tax here, guys. Prim Tax here. Very good. He does have the 99 pace, so he does get all the way up there. Um, this is all good, but again, uh, but actually, yeah, this one's good. This one's good, uh, but we're at the point where he's meta now. He'll be half meta here, um, but he should stay priced. This will come down to like 150 uh, uh, to 200K, I'd say. I don't think it would go too much higher than that, um, but three-star, three-star week, but a high average, you know, all the, all the same there. So that's all decent, all decent. Pau Torres, guys. Now, this card, the reason why this is this card is actually about the same as those cards, except for the difference is the price is he's, he's like a fifth of the price. So then my player review says, oh, and he also has better defensive stats where this is almost impossible to get around. He's a 93 rated center center back. And this is about the same as the 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 other card. And so this card to me is a better card than the others. Uh, because of how much better this is these four points make a huge difference in this game the aggression's high stamina is even higher guys this card is actually so much better and this is gonna be this is a gift for the casuals this will come down this will come down this will drop maybe to 30k maybe um but that card that is such a gift of a card that is a fantastic card fantastic card um nelson Sameto. Uh, insane card, guys, uh, as we all know, uh, unique body style, four-star skills, three-star weak, but medium, medium work rates, so be careful with his positioning. His passing isn't fantastic, so it's a decent card, but he's not the best right back ever in the game so far. I think I still think there's better ones out there. Uh, Hakimi's still better. Um, Imbolo card, three-star skills, I'm not even going to go into that. If you play with three-star skills, um, it's going to be an okay card. Uh, Archie, or... Uh, Achi, Achi Pong. I, I'm my bad for pronunciation, guys. High low work rates. Great, 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 great. Now I want to talk about this guy's super sub, okay? As a super sub, he's gonna be on 5 Kim. You probably throw a hunter on him. High low work rates, guys, with almost impossible stamina to beat with high level strength, decent aggression, decent jumping. His passing isn't fantastic, but you're gonna be aware of that. His he's Kim style efficient pretty much on dribbling, and then he's almost he's extremely superb on the attack. So he is going to be making hard runs at your defensive line, at the defensive line all game or from the last 30 minutes of the game if you put him in the 60th. He is going to be very hard to stop. Very hard to stop. He's going to feel like a monster. So, incredible super sub. This card here, very good card, guys. Um, I actually really like this short, or he's lean body style. Four star, five star, which is fantastic. The traits, a flare trait. So, he's efficient with uh, certain specifics. He's Kim Sal efficient on dribbling. He's decent on pace. So if you really wanted to and you didn't care about the dead eye guys, you can assist the pass. You could slap a hawk on him and he's going to be very good. You can even put basic on him and he's going to be very good. But me personally, I'm going to put dead eye on him, make that shooting and passing a lot better and just know that he's not going to outrun people. And Barba card, very good card. Uh, Yannick Carrasco is still probably the same, if not better. And uh, average body style, four star, four star. Uh, there's better out there. Uh, it's just kind of a weird card. But guys, okay, those are the cards that we have for today. Now what I'm going to show you guys are some of the comments from, we always talk about the comment section from our last video. So I'm going to first start it off. Question for next video. I'm a bit obsessed with the five-star week, but well, he's been in every FIFA. Do you think s someone like Sun is better than uh, someone like Flashback Benzema with the right instructions? My team consists of Pulisic, Sun, De Bruyne, Overmars, and Isaac. So you can see I can have a problem. Yeah, so the, the five-star skill... Or so 
it's really like one of those things that if you have a high level player like that you're going to either want you're going to either want five star skills or a five star weak foot if you have if you're putting yourself into a position the five star weak foot gives you finishing better a little bit better finishing and the five, five star skills gives you better animation speed so you have a faster speed of animation so me personally i like faster speeds and animations but um me but the, the the issue is i like faster speed and animations but sometimes players don't have those mechanic skills in that case if you don't have the mechanic skills play with your strengths and play with the five star weak foot that way if you put it on his left foot or on his right foot then you can take the shot that's how i always recommend it if you don't use skills go with the weak foot it's definitely worth it um it but the flashback benzema card for some reason is is weird and is a very 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 good it's better than the sun but it's not as good as like Mbappe or like uh, some a card that has five star skills that you know rivals the card. Um, that's that's my take. If you have something very similar to it, then yes, it is a 100% better. But something that's less, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Thank you for answering the question. You really helped me explain. No problem, my man Simon Sabo. I picked up his lot since for 2400, 2500. You think that would be a good idea? Keep it to work. As you guys saw, they're selling for 2900. Easy coins. You can sell them right now if you'd like. It's all about the buy period with my me, guys. It's all about the buy period. The sell, the sell point's the easy part, guys. Selling's the easy part. It's all about the buying, right? Footbin I've noticed usually gets John Stones. It was 1100. Now he's at 11, 1.6. So there you go. One, you know, you probably could pick him up for 900 coins almost yesterday. So boom, another sell point for John Stones. Uh, what time? Where should we be buying Tealmans? I showed it today. We had 20,000 coins. They should be about 18k is where I'd be trying to go for. A great shot on the vid. How much should I get? Uh, 18k or so. Next FIFA channel blow up. That dude, my man Salvador Gonzalez, my man. I appreciate you, brother. I really do appreciate that. Um, all I all I care about, guys. I don't care about going viral. I care about you as the individual. I care about getting and connecting with every single one of you as much as I can. As you guys see, I reply to everybody in two different ways in two different ways when should i invest in tealman's now or on sunday uh should i sell my fodder you should sell some of it now i wouldn't sell high rate of fodder but guys that is going to be the video today if i missed anything um i know this one's a little bit long but we did have a promo release and we went through every single player card there was so if i missed anything let me know and uh drop a comment below and if i can improve I'd like to hear the feedback as well. So thank you for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow.